might have not been your decision to be born a Canadian, which is excellent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what I would, okay, so I, I find this idea that, I'm sorry, I find this idea that we should um, sort of focus on being, uh, focus on the things that are given to us. Um, uh, yeah, we don't choose our bodies. There are many things about our lives we don't choose. And, and we can't choose actually the, um, always the results of our choices either. You know, these self-determined choices that I do argue that we ought to be able to make. We, we can't um, necessarily control how they will work out or how they'll make us for that matter. Um, but, I mean, in general, you're making a very, uh, an argument that's really problematic um, when it comes to sort of being grateful for what society has given you, which is what I'm understanding you to say, um, rather than, I mean, should we in general not take critical approaches to what society has given us? I mean, I'm just sort of thinking, uh, well, there wouldn't be, um, well, I don't know how you feel about that, so I won't say, but <laughs> um, there wouldn't, but I mean, civil rights well, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking okay. about uh, health care in Canada. Have people not been uh, <laughs> critical? Um, I believe in the 40s, but post-war. Um, anyway, uh, so, uh, and yes, we wouldn't have had the civil rights movement just been grateful. And you know, and there were people, certain people, black people, who, who did argue, let's take a different approach, we shouldn't be marching. Um, and and there were a lot of uh, white southerners who would actually make a similar argument. We should think about this, the ways in which segregation helps us um, and what it brings to us. And so, um, yeah, so what do we do? So, and I would argue that a lot of um, the rules that society has created for us around sexuality um, are, are downright unjust. Some are irrational, 